Douglas, are we ever going to find Osama bin Laden? Well, hi, George. Thanks for having me on. And that's a great question. That's one we're addressing right now. Um, basically, it, it's our position that uh, uh, ever since 2001, we have not seen any proof of life or any type of evidence to suggest that Osama bin Laden is actually um, uh, the, presenting these messages live or this is a live uh, message from Osama bin Laden, despite the verification of authenticity by the CIA and other groups. There are other experts that have said that the previous messages, which consist of a mirror static image uh, with a voiceover by Osama bin Laden, um, there have been uh, analysis done of, of these messages, and there has been evidence of there are suggestions of tampering to these particular messages. Or uh, when I say tampering, I'm talking about uh, uh, perhaps some heavy editing to the messages, which lends some credence to the fact that uh, bin Laden may, in fact, not be giving these messages, which also lends uh, some credence to the uh, possibility that he's no longer with us, that he's dead. I'm not sure he was ever with us, actually, now. Doug, this is such a weird story. And, you know, for years now, the, there's just been no true hunt, at least publicly. You know, one can always assume we've got a special ops program out there. But I'm not sure, and I don't think so, not in this case. It seems like we've given up the hunt for bin Laden. You know, he was in the Los Angeles area during his involvement with the CIA when the Soviets were in Afghanistan. And his name then was... Tim Osman. That's what the that's the name he used when he was touring Los Angeles. Actually, not too far from where we broadcast right now. He was staying at a local hotel when he met some of the CIA members. This is just too strange. It's almost as if somebody has used the name Bin Laden and his pictures for their own PR purposes. Well, about a week ago, uh, one of Bin Laden's sons had uh, looked at one of the videos that uh, of his father and said that there was something strange about the video, that, that it, it certainly looked like his father, but may not have been his father. It was a very interesting interview that appeared on, on the, um, I think it was a UK television station. So, you know, what you're saying, and the fact, too, that, uh, for, for instance, Al Zawahiri had toured the United States back in the mid-1990s. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's indeed possible that there is some um, a heavy intelligence involvement with the perpetuation of Osama bin Laden here in this country.